All right, all right, welcome back. Today is part two, continuation, I guess, of the previous video. So like I said, if you are listening to this video now, you should already be a licensed dealer. You should already have money and you should already know where to buy the cars from, right? Let's say you're buying the cars from the online auto auction. Now, when you buy the cars from the auction, it can be tricky because sometimes they misrepresent them. And if you're a rookie and you don't know, you're going to get caught and you're going to fall for all the traps that are on there. So I'm glad you're watching this video right now because I'm going to do my best to help you avoid expensive mistakes. Okay, here we go. Step number one, you have to do your homework. What do I mean by doing your homework? You have to see what kind of cars are running at the auction before what kind of condition they are in, check the car faxes, check the pricing of these cars and make sure that you don't overpay for them. And what do I mean by check the pricing? We compare pricing against the market guides, against the books, all right? There are, excuse me, there are four different or maybe more than four, but four major car valuations that the auctions uses. And that is NADA or JD Power, Kelly Blue Book, Black Book and MMR, which is Mannheim Market Report. MMR is only through Mannheim. Of course, NADA, JD Power, KBB. Look at all these, depending on what state you're in and what, what is the major book that your banks use. Um, use that as a guideline and look at the clean trade and value and try your best to get that vehicle left of, of clean trade so you have more money. Let's say a, an example, a like clean trade value is $5,000. You're going to want to be at least 4000 or 3800 or something left of that 5000 so you're going to sell the car for five or more and that profit in between, if you got it for three and you're selling for five, you got two of spread already right there, you know. So that's the quick thing of doing your homework. Number two, you got to use applications and programs designed to help you with these guides. There are several ones like I talked about, JD Power, KBB, Black Book, MMR, and you also have a one-stop shop called Auto Nick, A-U-T-O-N-I-Q, Auto Nick, and that's an application that's on Android and iPhone devices, and um, you should you, you can sign up with them. It's about sixty or hundred dollars a month, but it gives you all the guides, all the prices, and everything, and. You can just scan them real quick. You can look at all the auctions online and look at the cars that are running directly through that app. Okay, let's see. So that's it for that one. And this app is going to help you check the car faxes, check the auto check, any history report on the cars. Make sure that it's not a salvage. Make sure that the airbags are not deployed. Make sure it's not branded, stolen, or anything like that. Um, then the next step would be to set a budget. Of course, do not get into a bidding war. Know how much you're trying to spend and stay at that point. Because like I said, in this business, I cannot stress it enough. You make money when you buy the car. You don't make money when you sell the car. Okay, so the cheaper you buy the car, the more money you're going to make. And the customer's going to be happy. You're going to be happy. The bank's going to be happy. Everyone's going to be happy, right? So you got to be smart. Do your homework and get the car cheap. That's what the point of the auction is. So set your budget. Don't go over budget. And... Uh, <laughs> Like, I, like the example I was giving you, if the trade that if the, the trade is ten thousand, you want to buy that car for at least eight, eighty five, nine, or even ten if that car is clean, but no more than ten. If you're more than ten, you're already losing. You got to make up that difference in down payment. Okay. Now, if you are able to, if you don't have any employees working under you, under you, and it's just you by yourself, please, please inspect the cars. You can inspect the cars online if you want, but. You can only go so far. I suggest you actually go there and you touch these cars to make sure these cars are good. Make sure that there's no major leaks or any major noises on the cars. So you can be sure that your investment is going to be a good one. Especially at the beginning, you're going to want to take care of your money uh, before you start making all these mistakes, you know. Now, um, attend auctions regularly. 90% of success is showing up. All right. And then the other 10% is whatever happens that day. But most of the time, setting yourself up, being in the right place at the right time is going to be the major difference of you getting a deal or not. So if you're at the auction and you're one of the bidders there and you see a deal come through and you know it's a deal, you got to get it. It's a deal so good that it's a steal. You have to get it and there's no other bidders around. Here's what I'm talking about opportunity. You can't pass that up. You got to get it, you know, because you're going to sell it and you're going to make the money. And I guarantee you 100% of the cars that you buy are going to sell. If there's a car in your lot and it has a for sale sign, guarantee it's going to be gone. Okay? There is an ask for every seat and that is true. It's your job to get good at finding those asses because we get plenty of seats all the time. Okay? Now, the next one, next suggestion to you is 
be prepared to walk away. Like I said, don't get too attached to the car. Don't get emotionally attached to the car. Don't be like, oh, damn, this is a good car. I want to get it. My customer wants it, yada, yada, yada. There are several models, several years, several cars available at many auctions. All right. So don't get too emotionally attached on one car. Um, do not get into bidding wars. Do not go over budget. I mean, you can get into a bidding war as long as you don't, you're not over your budget, you know. But if it's going too high, don't do it. Sometimes they'll trick you. And that's how they do it. They're going to trick you at the auction. If it's bidding, it's bidding, it's bidding up. It's most likely the seller with a different license bidding you up. So don't get into a bidding war, especially if you reach your budget. You just stop it right there. Okay. Now, the last thing, you got to have a strategy when you bid. You can't just go in, load a gun, first price, poof, take your shot. You can't do that. All right. So what my suggestion to you is learn and become a sniper. What does that mean, being a sniper? When it comes to auctions, a term sniper means you're going to bid at the very last second. Be just before the auctioneer ends the fucking call, hit that button. Pardon my language, I'm sorry. But just that's uh, kind of difficult for me not to express myself without cursing, you know? Anyways, um, my suggestion to you is be a sniper. That means wait, wait, wait. Be patient until the last second and then bid. But be quick because sometimes they just pass the car up or they're no sell it or they if sell it. All right. So let's say you bid strategically and you win it. There is um, you have to wait. They're going to start the car up really high and then they're going to bring it down just so somebody can bite, you know, the hook. And then they're going to start bidding you back up right to that same price. So, like I said, don't get into bidding wars and <laughs> do not let the soda machine outbid you. If you're a rookie and you don't know, these auctioneers are pretty smart and they're pretty slick and they're pretty quick. So if you are bidding and you see that there's nobody else in that lane bidding and the auctioneer is like, what, 50,000, 50 this, 50 that. And then you say, yeah, you keep saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you, you don't even look to your right. He's probably pointing at the Coke machine. The Coke machine is making the bids for you and the Coke machine is bidding you out. So whenever you don't get into that bidding war, at the end of the day, the Coke machine is going to win the bid. But in reality, they're going to give it to the next higher bidder, which is going to be you. So watch out for that. Remember, wait until the last minute. They're going to start up high. They're going to drop the price low and then take your head. Boom, 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 boom. Till you get it. So if you are sticking around, I'm going to put a couple of videos in my channel of when we bought a couple of cars under our company uh, live so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, guys, welcome back. This is going to be a quick section. We are at the online auto auction right now, and this is how we do things. First, we go online and we do a search of all the vehicles that are running that day. And uh, we see, as you can see right here on your left side, these are the run numbers, uh, the lanes and the run numbers. So the next one that's coming up is lane eight, number 21. As you can see, it's right here, lane 818. We are waiting on that right now. 21 is almost here. So yeah, let's see, here we go. I'm just gonna pause it real quick and get to the car. But the way it starts is um, they start up really high and they go, down, they go down real low, all right? So we have done our notes here. 821 that number that you see here in the notes this is the clean trade without any ads we're looking at a 2016 cadillac ats sedan uh it's got a 4.8 grade which is a really clean car 2.0 liter four cylinder green light two wheel drive 68,000 miles silver 13 4 is the adjusted mmr which is the price that Mannheim suggests they sell this vehicle for and um we're about to see how much it goes for my goal is to get it at this price or a little less if possible um about i got about 500 dollars to go over if i could but the more the more money uh that you can make is when you pay the less amount so the further left you are um the more money you're going to make that's going to be your spread right so anything over that is going to be kind of hard to recoup recoup your your loss so here we go and what i mean by doing your homework is this is the 4.8 right here you can click on the condition report and it's going to pull up photos of the car. We see the condition details, who the seller is, if there has any structural damage, prior paint, the tires, etc. We scroll down and we get a whole overview of the car and it tells us, you know, the damages and where they are. So this is a really clean car. There's really no damages here. And let's take a quick scroll through all the photos. So you can see. All right. Now it's ready. Here we go. 
See, 18, that's a little too high right now. That's like 3,000 more than what I want to spend. 16, that's still too high. 15, if they go low, I'm in. 13, oh yeah. Oh yeah. 14, yep. Yep. 15, 15, 2. That's it. Fifteen seven fifty. Three fifty more. It's clean card, so low miles. That's it. Carfax. Clean Carfax. Worth eighteen retail. Ah, uh, fifty nine. I don't know about that. Jesus. See, that would have been an I don't know. Because I would have been 500 over my allowed, my allowed uh, thing right here. So it was an if sell for 15.8. Let's wait on the next one. All right. All right. So we weren't able to get that one. Our next two are going to be this one, 6.54 and 7.49. Which, if you look, it's a Chevy Tahoe and it's a 749, it's a Chevy Impala. All right, so they are both five cars away. This one, one, two, three, four, plus the one that's running. This is the Tahoe right here. Check it out. It's a previous law enforcement vehicle, I think. I'm not sure, but they give you all the pictures and they give you all the reports, and you can also do a Carfax history report and everything, right? So let's exit this and wait for that one to come through. Hit back to block, boom. And let's look at this one, 749. It's almost here. It's this Impala, 4.3. Look at that. Nice, clean Impala. Silver. Got low miles, 99,000. That's low miles here in Houston. Ha. <laughs> All right. So whichever one runs first, I got to take a look at both. And remember, on on the Tahoe, 654, 16 is what it's... What it's uh, the trading value is, so I'm gonna try to stay below that. Always try to stay below that. The the less money you spend on that price, the more money you'll make without overcharging your customer, you know? So, here we go. Here we go, it's our Tahoe. It says out of bounds here. It's a previous law enforcement vehicle and structured operations out of bounds. Drive it here, 12,000, 11 if that goes in and about everybody else is out I hear 11 and about here 11 and about 250 500 500 500 all done I'm on the road about 750 and about 7 and about 7 and 12 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 I'm out on this Impala. 13,000. Woo! 12,754. Got that one. All right. So as you can see, it was worth uh, 16, and we got it for 12,750. This one went up to like 13 something. So we're out on that one. But well, that's how you do it. That's how you buy cars at the auction. Then once you're done, it's gonna say right here sold you know the bid or whatever yada yada so there you go that's how you do it guys all right because in this channel my goal is to show you and not just tell you but show you how we do these things so you can see that it's possible and if a person like me can do it you can definitely do it if you're sitting here this long watching this video paying attention i guarantee you 100 percent you're going to be successful all right well with that being said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you stuck around. Uh, keep on checking the videos for updates regularly. I'm going to upload those videos for the auction, live auction bidding. And I uh, hope you learned something today. Stick around, stay tuned, and let's get you rich, right? <laughs> Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Let's rock and roll. You guys have a good one. Bye.